Hey guys, it's Scott at Axelboy again. I wanted to follow up on my long arm versus short arm series. We talked about how the wheelbase changed significantly when we used the uh, three inch short arm lift kit. Today I'm gonna compare that to a four inch long arm lift kit. This Jeep is uh, outfitted about the same way, 37 inch tires, Terraflex 60 axles. Uh, main difference is that it has long arms versus the short arms. I've set the flex up to where the bottom of the front tire is exactly the same height as we did when we looked at the short arm kit. So we should be pretty close. Uh, Aaron and I are going to measure this up for you. We're going to measure center cap to center cap to give you wheelbase. And then we're going to measure from a uh, central point on the rear bumper to the center line of the wheel so we can uh, give you an idea how much the rear uh, wheelbase has changed. So we're going to go ahead and measure up the driver's side here. One sixteen and a half is what we have on the driver's side. Let's go compare that to the uh, passenger side. Got about one eighteen on that side. Now we're going to measure the rear wheels and just see where they're positioned in the vehicle. Got about 30 there. And then about 27 and a half on the driver's side. As you can see, we've only got about a two inch difference change in wheelbase on the long arm kit versus the four plus on the short arm kit. And I think you can recognize by looking at the geometry and how the wheelbase stays more steady and more consistent on a long arm that uh, driving down the highway, side hill and getting flexed out, they're going to be a lot more stable when that wheelbase stays the same. So again, this is Scott from Axeboy, just giving you the comparison between short and long arms.